Okay, today we're gonna make some pandemic face masks, male and female. Um, you can take a pillowcase, use it if that's what you have at home, and then I'm using, for the ties, I'm using shoestrings. So this is a 36 inch and 45 inch. These were 98 cents at Walmart. It's the shoe gear. So this is what you end up with. See the ties there? This is the female size. Obviously that's where your nose goes and that's the bottom. So the first step is just let's cut out the face mask. So you're gonna cut two of each, two female, two male. Stitch these together and then you're gonna sew these two pieces together so that it's double plied. Two pieces and two pieces. Printed side should be inside because you're gonna turn this inside out. The stitch, you run it along here. Then you're gonna take and open this up and you're gonna sew that little flap down. So here's the two pieces together. So we're gonna go right along this edge. I'm using a, a lighter thread so that you can see the stitch as it's happening. Again, sewing printed side in. So now you have two pieces. This is the nose piece right here in the pointy part. This would be your printed side, your darker side, the side that you're gonna to wanna to be able to see on the outside. Now you're gonna turn this inside out and you're gonna sew that piece down. To the flap we've made, we're gonna just push that down and sew it flat. Now that flap is sewn down so it won't bunch up when you're in the mask. That's gonna be the inside of the mask. This is gonna be the outside of the mask. So you're gonna do it all again on the other one. Two flaps are sewed down through the center. So you're gonna turn them inside out again, printed side in. So if you're using a floral print or something like that, make sure your flowers are in and your faded side is out on both pieces here because you're gonna stick them together and, and you're gonna sew them together and then you're gonna turn them inside out. Match up those seams. See? And here you can pin it if it makes it easier. So you put them together at the seam. At this point after you make these two stitches, you're gonna sew along here and along here. And after you do that, you're gonna turn the whole thing right side out. So you have a top seam. Now you're gonna do the bottom. There it is. Bottom, top. So at this point, you're gonna take and pull, pull it through. Go to the end, there you go. Pull it through, pull it right side out. And here you can, you can iron it. Iron these seams flat. I run final stitches along each edge and then also down the center. The final is, it's all ironed. And I run a final stitch down the front and the final stitch on each side. And then I stitch right here and run the shoestring through. Ironed it down. It's already taken the shape of the mask. So now I'm gonna just zigzag these edges here. Sew that down, and then the shoestring is gonna run through it. So it'll end up looking like this. Put a few stitches in because that's gonna be the piece of the mask that's gonna see the most action or activity. You're gonna be pulling on them strings a lot, tying them.
run your shoestring through. Make sure they're even. And then you're just gonna throw a little stitch right there where it ran through. And that's to hold the string in place so you can tie it. You can see how it curves right here. That goes over the nose and that's flat. And you have ties to tie it on your face. You can see the size difference between the women's and the men's. And the strings allow you to adjust it, you know, if you have a small head or a big head. It'll help tie them on tighter.